vocational course is <laughs> this is what i really don't like talking about because of some experiences that a uh, majority have passed through but then i wish to come and tell us what what is expected or what one might face okay so it's always important that you are informed so that by the time you're facing it you know what to do and how to come out of it but before i go into this video proper if you have been coming across my channel or you've come across my video you're just coming across my video for the first time you're welcome i'm doris okay i talk about studies uh, migration and helping students in getting settled and also info about portugal here and how to help people okay please kindly subscribe like and share my video with this you are helping me helping my channel to grow thanks so much um a lot of persons come to my dm to ask me hey baby i would like can i go for uh, a vocational course um because I, I i feel because it's a one year program or a one year course or probably because it is cheap yes all this i know we all to all to put that into consideration i mean um the money aspect monetary aspect but then when you're migrating from your country to another country not even another continent from your continent to another continent there are a lot of things that you need to put into consideration and most times when the, the, the ones that are fortunate to get me when i try to explain to them i'm very sure you will see reasons why a one year program is not advisable for for you if you're migrating it is never advisable for you to but then if you feel oh you know there are some persons that um they are this up and doing people and you know grace you know grace differs but then you're migrating from a place where they don't speak your language to you they speak portuguese you don't understand portuguese yes a lot of us will say we are learning from um duolingo or monthly forget it they are different thing entirely when you come in that is where you will know oh i thought i understood portuguese until you come in that is when you will know that you have really not gotten it okay so yes we look at the monetary aspect but what about the settling down what about adjusting to their own um way of life like getting job um getting settled getting your resident permit and all other things all these are what you should put into great into consideration and that is why you see me mostly i talk about study like you going for or uh, either a master's program or a phd program or if you want you're doing your bsc okay so doing a vocational course yes or for instance let me talk about the previous one um previously when you when they give you a rest when they give you your visa what they do is to give you a one year permit um a one year visa like you cannot that one year visa unlike you coming for a b and v um for a master's program they give you like four months or three months but for you coming for a vocational course what they give them is a full visa one year visa and which is it, it allows you to stay in Portugal for one full year. But I'm very sure if I apply for a vocational course, my intention is to get a resident permit. Yes, that is my intention. That would be your intention to get a resident permit. But with that kind of visa, it allows you to stay in Portugal. But then you can't work. Okay? You can't work. Why? Because you don't have a resident permit take for example a student who is coming for a master's program they give you a four month visa it it would expire and that is why when they give you visa they would there is always a link that will be there that link contains your um, the date when and where you're going to 
where you know you are going for your IMA process last your resident permit processing okay but for you having a full year visa it means it allows you to stay in Portugal, do whatever you want to do for that period of one year. But for a student, it has expired. And that is why they gave them that link to go for their resident permit. Can you see the difference? So I want you, if you're going for a vocational course, know this and know it too. Okay, last, last previous, previously, when they give you a resident when when you go for when you apply for a vocational course you go for you they give you a one year visa without any link any date and when you come in you begin to search for date and which takes a uh, uh, um time so there was there was someone who was give, who applied for a voc for a one year program i think this uh, this one is a one year diploma program and this person um was even given a three um four months yes he was given a four month um visa so for him to come in and when he came in there was no date for him he was searching online searching 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 and couldn't get a date so after the visa expired which is four months he was waiting and couldn't get dates that was last year when Ima and self were having you know there was issue like no date and finally after i think after two months or three months i think it was three months which means four months plus three months which is already going to seven months and when they finally got a date with self what self told him was they would extend the date did you hear me? They extended the date of the visa to the period of when he's going to stay because they found out that by by I think by June July he should have finished the program. They only extended the date without even giving him a resident permit. What do you expect this kind of a person to do? One, the person cannot even work because the person doesn't have a resident card and the date was extended for him to finish his program. And the only advice I could give this person was, was for him to go and apply for master's, which is another extra two years. If he had applied for master's from, from Nigeria, because the person is from Nigeria, it's the only thing is... They will give him that four months and he could apply for resident permit. They would not extend the visa. What they would do is to give him process his resident card and with that resident card, such a student can work. I hope with this analogy, you, you, you're actually getting what I'm trying to pass on. Okay, yes, there are some, some people who... What they did, they didn't give them a one-year visa. Of recently, I was seeing people that they gave them a full-year visa. My best advice is, if you get date, if fortunately you get date, like you should try your luck and go, go for your resident permit. And if you meet the right person, one thing about about this resident card of a thing, the processing is. What happens in uh, in in Avero is not same. That is not the same thing that would happen in Proto. What happens in Lisbon is not same that would happen in um, Algarve. You know, like they they are just they give different different I don't know different thing to different people. Yes, you might fortunately have that full year visa and maybe you get a date okay when you get a date you might meet the person the person that will process it might give you uh, uh, maybe looked at it oh this person actually needs a residence permit to stay but another person will look at it and say oh you have a full visa your visa, your visa allows you to stay in their mind you're coming for study why in your own mind you're saying oh i want to work and 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 study at the same time but what you are giving is a student visa okay so if you are if you have that that if you have this in mind i'm very sure that 
it would be better for you to, if you have your BSc, why not go for your master's? Save yourself all this stress, okay? Save yourself all this stress. Go for your master's. There are programs that you can actually get as low as 2,500 euros per year, okay? There are some schools that would even take you 1,000 at least 1,500 euros. There are schools like that. Why not go for that and have your mind at peace? Because once you have, once you have your your resident, once you have your your resident permit, you then begin to look for job. And the thing is, a lot of us have this that oh, immediately I call, I'm going to get job immediately. Yes, it used to be like that. In Portugal but now you know there are lots of competitions everywhere the Nigerians the Ghanaians the Mozambiques um, the the Pakistans the Indians we are now much here so you have to look for job and if you're coming with a vocational course like one year visa what if you what if I don't pray for that what if within that one year that you do not get a job. And what, according to their policy, what can what allows you to stay back in Portugal is if you have a job, then it is that job that you are going to present at the expiration of your of, of your resident card. Because they give you a one-year resident card, it will expire, and you need another thing to extend your stay. And what is that? It is that your job contract. Okay, there are some cases whereby you'd even get a job here in Portugal and after four or five months, um, the job contract ends and you are not able to renew if you fall into that position. So hold on for the next video. In the next video, I will be talking about a part-time program. You need it and watch out for that video it's going to be interesting it's going to be an interesting one because if you if you cannot fund yourself that video is for you and i bet you you'll thank me later thank you so much